The cardiac cycle includes all the events related to the flow of blood through the heart during one complete heartbeat. Your goals for learning are to list the phases of the cardiac cycle in consecutive order, to recognize that pressure changes reflect valve action and the direction of blood flow through the heart, and to relate an ECG wave tracing and heart sounds to the events of the cardiac cycle. Here's what you need to know. Heart anatomy, the definitions of systole and diastole, and how to read a normal ECG wave tracing. To see definitions of terms, click the bold red words. During the cardiac cycle, the heart valves open and close in response to differences in the blood pressure on their two sides. These illustrations show the pulmonary semilunar valve, the aortic semilunar valve, the left atrioventricular, or AV valve, which is also known as the bicuspid valve, and the right atrioventricular, or AV valve, also known as the tricuspid valve. The three phases of the cardiac cycle are ventricular filling, which occurs during mid to late diastole, ventricular systole, which includes isovolumetric contraction and ventricular ejection, and isovolumetric relaxation, which occurs during early diastole. Click the illustration to see the left side of the heart. Click the syringe to see dye injected into the superior and inferior vena cava. The first phase of the cardiac cycle is ventricular filling, which occurs during mid to late diastole when the heart chambers are relaxed. Blood flows passively into the atria, through the open AV valves, and continues into the ventricles. Click on the right atrium to see the atria contract, forcing the remaining blood into the ventricles. This will demonstrate blood flow on the right side of the heart, but remember that blood is moving through both sides of the heart at the same time. The second phase of the cardiac cycle is ventricular systole. As the ventricles contract, intraventricular pressure rises, closing the AV valves. The brief period during which the ventricles are completely closed chambers is the isovolumetric contraction phase. Click the ventricles to see them contract and to see the right AV valve close. The ventricular ejection phase begins when rising ventricular pressure forces the semilunar valves open. Blood is then ejected from the heart into the pulmonary trunk and aorta. Click the pulmonary semilunar valve to see it open and to see blood leave the heart. In the third phase of the cardiac cycle, isovolumetric relaxation, the ventricles relax and ventricular pressure drops. Blood in the aorta and pulmonary trunk backflows toward the heart, closing the semilunar valves. The ventricles are totally closed off again in this isovolumetric relaxation phase.
Meanwhile, the atria have been filling with blood. When the pressure exerted by blood on the atrial side of the AV valves exceeds that in the ventricles below, the AV valves are forced open and the ventricular filling phase begins again. Click the right atrium to see early ventricular filling. Although we have been highlighting the flow of blood on the right side of the heart, remember that both atria contract at the same time and both ventricles contract at the same time. Click the heart to get a better view of blood flow on the left side of the heart. Note that blood flows from the pulmonary arteries to the lungs and then returns to the left atrium via the pulmonary veins. Remember that pressure changes reflect the alternating contraction and relaxation of the heart. Blood moves along a pressure gradient from higher to lower pressure through any available opening. Pressure changes cause the heart valves to open and close, which keeps blood flowing in the forward direction. Over the next few pages, you'll see animated graphs showing aortic pressure, atrial pressure, ventricular pressure, ventricular volume, and an ECG wave tracing. This series ends by showing all the graphs together. Here's a summary of what we've covered. The cardiac cycle has three phases, ventricular filling, ventricular systole, and isovolumetric relaxation. Both atria contract at the same time, and both ventricles contract at the same time. Blood flow is controlled by pressure changes. To test your knowledge, click the quiz button to go to the self-quiz.